Hey guys, hope you had a good Easter. Turkey and eggs. Not turkey eggs though, Ch chocolate. But what's better than turkey eggs? Tech news. So. Hey, want some slightly shady details on the upcoming Intel 300 series chipset? That's perfect because, as always, Benchlife has stolen them for you. You should feel bad. The somewhat reliable site has posted an official looking Intel slide with some spec details for the 300 series, codenamed Canon Lake. If it's legit, we'll finally see native support for USB 3.1 with up to six ports. The slide also lists support for integrated Intel wireless AC, which would mostly benefit notebook variants of the processors. We should be seeing the 300 series chipset debut sometime in the second half of 2017. In other Intel news, the company has canceled its Intel Developer Forum program. IDF events have been going for nearly 20 years now, and this year's event was previously scheduled to take place in mid-August in San Francisco, but but not anymore. IDF was usually used to announce new processor products or talk about new technology it was working on, but Intel says that it's just not their style anymore. The company says they're changing from being PC-centric to data-centric, and instead of one big annual event, they'll be holding separate targeted events to talk about more specific things. Personally, I looked forward to IDF simply because it was another opportunity to try and pronounce Brian Krzanich's name properly again. Krzernich. I'll get it one day. And this story is in here mainly because I'm just excited about it. EA has released a new trailer and details about Battlefront 2's story campaign. In a bit of a twist, the plot will follow Aiden Versio, a special forces commando for the Empire. The story's tweaked perspective makes a bit more sense when you consider it was written by Walt Williams, the guy behind critically acclaimed shooter Spec Ops The Line, as well as Mitch Dyer, the guy who used to report for IGN. Nice. The only downside I can see is PC isn't getting co-op again. Gah! Now to me, and perhaps to others, this is very exciting, but may I remind the class, there is to be no pre-ordering. Yes? Especially you, Travis. It's time for... Mm -hmm. Bits, do you know what time it is? Yes, it is time for Quick Bits. That made me laugh out loud when I saw it. Thank you, sir, and an excellent Bixby, I dare say. If you want to send me a quick bits, hashtag a quick bits to Twitter, will ya? German researchers from the Hasso Pladner Institute have shown off a VR system that provides haptic feedback via electrical muscle stimulation. They claim the shocks aren't strong enough to cause pain, but I'ma let them test that out a bit more before I pre-order. I mean, regular order after some time. Microsoft is releasing the definitive edition of the original Halo Wars for Xbox on Steam later this week for 20 bucks, meaning it's the first online Halo game to integrate fully with Steamworks instead of Xbox Live. Good, good, Microsoft. Now bring the rest of the Halo games over as well. Shh, 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 shh. Don't ask questions. Just do it. Oh, you thought the headphone jack was dead because Apple killed it. Psych! Leaks show the Moto Z2 Force, the successor to the jackless Moto Z, with a headphone jack, so perhaps common sense will prevail after all. I don't want a dongle anymore. Qualcomm announced the winner of its Tricorder XPRIZE competition, which challenged startups to develop a medical device similar to the universal diagnosing tool known as the Tricorder in Star Trek. The winning device, Dexter, does not look nearly as cool, but it's pretty exciting stuff for medicine. And giant Chinese gaming company Tencent, who owns League of Legends developer Riot Games, among others, has announced the global rollout of their game service called Wii Game. It already has 200 million users, more than Steam's 120 million, so we may all be playing games in Mandarin soon enough. Sources for all of today's news stories can be found in the NCIX forum post linked in the description. Yeah, you want to follow your saxophone until you reach the white fronts and then bobbed your teapot. All right, RGB ice cream cone. I don't know if that was supposed to be just like a fast talking Cockney character or just like you were having a stroke, but thank you, Jason Sec. If you have something you want us to say, hashtag NCIX Yodog us, because that's a verb now. Hey, congratulate me. I mean, Congratulate NCIX, we can drink in the US now.
Yep, NCIX has been around for 21 years, and we still have so much to learn about the world. But still, it's cause for celebration, and that's why NCIX is giving away over $5,000 in prizes as part of our 21st anniversary sweepstakes. The grand prize is an Ultimate Gamers Kit with a Ryzen 7 1800X, GTX 1080 Ti, and other things you need for a sick gaming PC. The second prize is an ASUS ROG GL752 gaming laptop, and third prize is a DJI Osmo Mobile. All you gotta do to enter is click the I in the corner or the link in the description. That'll give you all the details and the love you need. Just kidding. Definitely not the second part. But you should still check it out. Alright, that's about enough of that nonsense. Thank you so much for watching. Click over here for previous videos. Check us out on Twitter over there. But as always, like the video if you liked it, comment below for fans with benefits, and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. It is extremely late in the day. Uh, so I'm gonna go uh, get this get this sucker edited. <laughs> See you guys next time.